Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today's vlog is going to be in English, guys. It's completely different. The reason is because I feel um, this video will be really helpful in a global level where many people across the globe can actually see this video and it will be very, very helpful for them. We have been using uh, the GoPro Hero 7 until uh, maybe a month and now recently I've got uh, GoPro Hero 9. I'm, I'm basically going to tell you about how to mount a, a action camera in a helmet and what are the process available. So there are three process available. First one, you use a GoPro mount. The second one is you have a strap which is available in the market. Uh, it comes around 800 to 900 rupees and you can purchase it and you can just tie it to your helmet. Third one is a, a company called Blue Armor. They have a mount which has been introduced from their company and uh, guys, it's top notch. So yes, these are three processes. My AGV Dreamtime is having a uh, sharp V-shaped chin and henceforth mounting a GoPro mount, it's not going to help me because there are gaps, with, there are a few gaps which are going to come in the side and um, I have to put MC at end of the day. So that option is and uh, after that we have the second option as uh, the strap the strap also has some issues and i would like to thank hally and uh, sujit uh, you guys have been amazing you know you, you guys make really cool products and uh, this mount is actually a uh, turn around for all the moto bloggers because uh, everyone was struggling with mounting their gopros or maybe with the mc it damages the good quality of the helmet so this particular mount actually helps a lot. So thank you so much Hali and uh, Sujit and the Blue Armor family for getting us such amazing products for the biking community. Without any further ado guys, I will first tell you what all products are required for actually having an amazing motor block set up in your helmet. So watch till the end so that you get a clear picture of it. Okay guys, before we go ahead into the process of how to set up uh, an action camera in your helmet, uh, we have to ensure all the extra accessories in your helmet should be removed like the uh, helmet's visor and also you have to remove the intercom if you have placed one you have to remove the cheek pad and the head pad inside the helmet now in our AGV dream time we have already removed all the uh, accessories completely and I've already placed a speaker inside so henceforth I won't be removing the pad Dr. Skin it costs around 70 rupees and it's very handy guys there you go so once you spray it after 10 seconds just wipe this whole area so that you have to ensure there is no dust stuck to your helmet. So we are going to remove the blue armor's uh, mount. Cost of this particular mount is around 399 rupees. But if you guys want one for yourself, do reach out to me in my Insta handle. I have a special coupon code available. We will open this TRRS to TRS adapter as well. Sleek, nice. So this is also removed. And uh, once after this process, you will have this adapter. So this case is very unique because it helps us to mount, uh, put everything together. You're going to take this no, TRS connections. Plug it into this adapter. Which place are you planning to mount it and which angle? So some people may use GoPro upside down so they use it like this. Some people use it this way in the front. Some people use it in the side as well. Please ensure it's, the surface is clean and you don't touch this uh, glue material. And then now you have to angle your mount. First place the center portion. Once you're done with that see the angle what you want to press so this is not the right angle yeah this is the right angle for my helmet uh yeah, this is the right angle wait i think this is the one yeah so once you stick it just press it similar to the this side as well just press it press the center portion of the chin there are two mounts, one is the L mount what I use here from GoPro and the other one is a, uh, a C mount. You have to insert this L mount, lock, lock your mount so that this doesn't get removed by any chance. So basically this is how it looks guys. You can unfold it, you can fold it, unscrew this C mount and then place your GoPro. So it's pretty strong here 
now uh, this particular cable here the TRRS to TRS connector you can pull your uh, speaker pointer and then connect it to this okay guys i hope everyone are able to hear me clearly this is the new gopro setup and uh, we are testing the audio quality from the new gopro hero 9 mounted in my helmet so i hope the uh, video and the audio is also clear so guys i hope you would have liked the video if in that case why the delay quickly go and like the video and also share this video to all your contacts and also if you're new to my channel do subscribe and hit the bell button so that you get regular notification uh, and also i like to take the opportunity to thank every single person for taking time and watching the video completely and also supporting me until today because of your support i'm growing day by day so let's ride